Hey all, it's Emily, and this week I went to Lush and Glossier, so today I had to do a Lush and Glossier haul. So here we are with all our goodies. Now I normally don't make my intros long, and I'm just going to get into it, but before I start this video, I wanted to mention a few things. So recently I got a new camera, and I've been having to deal with a lot with that camera, because it is not easy to switch from filming on a phone to filming on a camera. So I've been having like some struggles with like lighting and sound and being able to like see everything I hold up to the camera. So I dimmed the light on this video and also I'm not using the microphone. Instead I'm just using the camera's mic because there's like been this weird buzz in the background of all my videos I filmed with the microphone. So we'll see how well this works or if it works. Also I've been having struggles with SD cards because they don't have a lot of storage. And I ran out of storage quick and also I lost one of my cards. So now I only have one, which is a big struggle. And also it takes forever to download from a computer to a phone to edit because I don't have a computer that I can edit on. This is what I'm dealing with if you care to know. And if y'all want like a video explaining all the details and like tips and tricks or like how I transitioned from my phone to filming on a camera. So if y'all want to know anything more about like the details, if you're like also a YouTuber, let me know because I'd be happy to make a video of it. Anyways, you really don't care about that. So let's just do the haul. Also, yes, there is a cat right here. He's my angel. He's happy there. He's going to stay there. So first I went to Glossier and this is the Glossier pop-up shop in Austin because I do live near there. Well, let's talk a little bit about my experience there. This is like a little pop-up shop. It's a cute little building. I had a great experience there, honestly. As we drove up, it was like kind of late at night, so it was dark. And we just had a circle around to find a parking spot. And when we first passed the place, there was quite a line. But then by the time that we were able to find a parking spot, and walked to the building, the line had disappeared and we were easily able to just walk into the store. We didn't have to wait at all. And I went to Glossier with my mom. So when I say we, I mean me and my mom. She didn't buy anything though, so this was just a mini haul. So anyways, as soon as we walked in, I knew that this was like my type of place. There were like so many teenage girls just like shopping and I was like, this is my vibe. And everything was pink. It was great. I've never been to a Glossier before or shopped at Glossier before. So it was a little confusing how like you ordered everything that you wanted because there was a counter there and there was a line at that counter. So I was waiting in line and then this like random employee ambassador, whoever comes up and is like, are you waiting to check out or like, are you waiting to get your stuff? And I'm like, yeah, I'm like waiting to like get my order for my stuff. And I just didn't. Yeah. And she was like, oh, okay, I got you. And so she took like my order. And I had taken pictures of everything I wanted, so I easily knew what I wanted. And I had to like tell her what I wanted, she went and got it, and then like this other lady handed it to me on the counter after calling my name. It was just this whole process. But it had a cute little like waiting area, we got to take pictures and everything. I'll insert a picture here or somewhere, maybe. Okay, let's get into the haul. Here's my little glossier bag. Super excited about it because I'm always seeing people who have like these glossy bags and they're doing hauls and now I get to experience that. I got three things because I didn't want to go too overboard because Christmas is soon and I have to save up for like gifts and maybe decorations and stuff like that. Okay, I knew I was going to get one of the bomb.coms because I'm a very like chastic like lip balm type of girl. So I knew I was going to get one of these. I smelled them all and the berry one smelled the best so I decided to get that one. And it seemed to be a popular opinion because I saw a lot of girls were saying that this one smelled good. Here it is. I have not tried it yet. Oh, I have actually tried one thing from Glossier. I got it in an Ipsy bag and it was the Rose Balm.com in a tiny little sample. So I did try that. I did not love the Rose but we're going to try the berry. It smells kind of like a fruit roll-up or like some sort of gummy. It is not coming out at all. Hello? What is the problem? Is this a thing? What is happening? Why is it not coming out? Oh, there it goes. It's very thick. I need a mirror. Oh dear goodness, it is very pigmented. Um, it took a little bit to get it out of the tube, but you know, probably has something to do with the fact that I've like never used the tube before, so that was like the first little bit to get out and that's normally the hardest bit to get out. Anyways, I got too much. So, we're thriving. Okay, I don't love pigmented lip balms. I still prefer the non-tinted, just like normal chapstick or lip balms. 
I mean, it could be cute with a super lightweight makeup look. Anyways, the next thing that I got, this was near the same thing. There was a bunch of like different tables up in the shop and they all had like a mix of things on them and so like some tables had like a bunch of things and were like similar to other tables but you had to go around. Yeah. But the next thing that I got is a lip gloss and this is the holographic little lip gloss. I don't know if it's actually holographic but it's just like, you know, it's got sparkles in it. So let's try that right now. It's goopy. I was going to get the clear one but if I see sparkles then I go for the sparkles. Yes, this I automatically like more than the mom.com on first little application. It's very creamy, but it feels nice on. Sorry, I'm using my phone for my camera. You can kind of see the sparkles, but they're not so bad. Yeah, I know you're not technically supposed to layer those on top of each other, but we're good. Who cares? It's fine. Okay, so the next thing that I got, I've seen a lot of people like recommend this, and this is the stretch concealer. I got it in literally the lightest shade, I think. I was going to get it in a different shade that I thought like would match better, but in reality, I'm very light skinned, so we got this instead. So this is shade G12. I already have a little bit of concealer on, but we'll see what we can do with this. Ooh, okay. This is very like moisturizing looking and very lightweight looking so let's just put some on my under eyes just with my fingers even though it would probably be better with a beauty blender i mean i guess it does what it's supposed to the stretch concealer which i guess means it's i don't even know what that means so i'm not gonna pretend anyways we got that we'll try it out um comment if you want me to like try out any of these in an actual makeup look or even though there's only two makeup products I don't know just comment something anyways that was that so that's my little three items from there and what I also got in the bag was a sample of something what did I get okay I got the future new oil serum hybrid so that's good because I've been realizing that my skincare routine is not that extravagant and honestly not looking too great at the moment. I want to like experiment with different things and like expand my skincare routine that I use. And then I got a bumper sticker which I'm not going to put this on my car because it's not my car technically. Once I get a car I might put it on my car but I don't know if I want people honking at me. But it just says honk if you look good and then it's got glossy on the side of it. But anyways I thought that's really cute see if I use it eventually and then I got this sticker it just says Glossier Austin and it's a little like water bottle sticker so I'll find a water bottle or maybe put it on my computer so yes that's everything from Glossier I like that they included stickers I love it when shops include stickers like I know Pure Vita does and I have a bunch from them and they're super cute and it makes the experience just like that much better so next as you know i went to lush and i went to lush once before it was with my friend go watch the vlog that i did with that um i'll link it up on the corner whichever one it comes up on i'm gonna wrap end so look for that but yes i went to lush i wanted to stock up on bath bombs because at the moment i have zero aside from what's in this bag right now i got bath bombs and bubble bars basically. Oh, also I got samples. I have a few more samples that they told me to keep in a fridge. I'll grab those at the end and I'll show you the samples at the end. So I went to Lush also with my mom. We went together because there was a little shopping trip but she also didn't buy anything so this is just what I got. And these have been smelling so good in my room. I went to Lush and Glossier a few days ago and I've just left the bag sitting on my vanity for a while waiting to film this haul and they just smell so good all together okay i don't remember the names of any of these so i have my receipt here that i'm going to look on yep still don't know so first we have this gorgeous little bath bomb it's like yellow blue and green well not green but like more of a teal and it's sparkly and it's kind of got mermaid scales now that i look on it smells pretty good. I don't even know what it smells like. It's a little bit like tea tree with like a bunch of other things mixed in. We're gonna make a mess. But yeah, that one smells good. I'm excited for it. I don't know what that one's called. Oh, maybe it's it's either Malusu Snow Fairy or Avo Bath. 
is one of the three. Yes, next I got this one. Okay, this one's kind of boring. Oh, I think this one's the Alva Bath. They all smell like just a little bit like tea tree mixed with a bunch of other stuff. This one says Lush on the top of it and it's plain little tealish blue little ball. So I think that one's the Alva Bath. Okay, I don't even remember everything that I got. Ooh, I do remember this one. I think this would be like the Snow Fairy Amaze Ball just because it looks like an amaze ball. This one's got a yellow star on top and it's filled with like some like salt and some pink pigmented powder and it's just this pink little ball with a star on top. And they said that this one I could either use it in like a few goes and use like the powder as one and then like use the rest of it in another bath or that I could just put it all in. So we'll see what happens. But anyways, that looks very beautiful. Okay, so next I got a few bubble bars. So I got this like orange and yellow monochromatic one that's just an oval like tie-dye one. And I think this is the sunny side bubble bar, but it could possibly be the bright side one. That one smells like oranges and like citrusy scents. Then I got this one, and this one I know is the candy bubble brush. This one kind of just smells like soap, but it's not a bad scent. But I got that because I thought it'd be fun. And the last thing that I got that wasn't a sample is this one, which is probably the bright side bubble bar. And it's just this little like teardrop of gold. It's very sparkly and pretty. And now I'm covered in glitter. So let me put those back in the bag real quick and I'll show the sample. Okay, so I got four samples in total. So basically I asked for two face mask samples and then like while I was shopping and then at the register I asked for one more sample which is the Dirty Spooky Tabs and I wanted to try these because at the last time that I went to Lush they told me about them and I was like that sounds cool but I didn't want to ask for like multiple samples. This time I definitely made use of the ability to get samples so they gave me four little pills and what I've noticed with the samples is Hold on. So these are the two samples that I got the first time that I went to Lush. And if you put them back side by side, these are the ones that I got this time. And they're like half the size. And they like don't fill them up that much. Like these ones, they fill like to the brim and they're like big and they give me a lot of product. But the little ones, they're like literally barely even full and they've got the tiniest little bit of product in them. They're like cutting down on the amount of samples they get, which is like fine, it's free samples, but it's just an observation. So another sample that I got is the Dream Cream Hand and Body Lotion. And this is just one that they threw in there because they just threw it in there. I didn't ask for it, but I'll try it out. This one basically just smells like lotion and baby powder, but not like a really, really bad scent. Very creamy. Here, let me try it out actually. Ooh. Okay. It's very soft and creamy and lightweight, so a little bit goes a long way. Okay, I kind of like that. At least my hands all glowy, but like a good tub of glowy. So those are two samples that I got. Now I got two more. I'll go and grab them real quick. Okay, so the other two samples, I already told you that they're face masks. So I got the Rosy Cheeks face mask. And these I have to keep in the fridge, so I just have to keep them in like my big family fridge in the kitchen. Which, I have been wanting a like little miniature skincare fridge for a while, but I haven't like been able to bring myself to buy it because I don't really, like there's nothing in my head that's saying that that's like a thing that you need to get, even though I kind of want it. So the Rosy Cheeks face mask is, of course, like a pink rose color, and it smells like roses, it smells pretty good looks like this you probably can't see it it looks like creamy and smooth which i don't think i can say about this one this is the catastrophic cosmetic face mask this one's blue you probably can't see it and this one's like more rough textured less smooth but that might be because i'm pretty sure they got these samples from the little bowls that they like keep open for you to like look at and test ish so it's probably been sitting out all day and it's kind of icky, so... But we'll try those two out because I like face masks 
and I have honestly way too many, but I wanted to try them. So, because that's a free face mask right there. Anyways, that is all that I got from Lush and Glossier. I had a fun experience at Glossier going for the first time, and I'm like, it's very cool that they opened up a shop for a little bit in Austin because normally their shops are not anywhere near here. So yes, that was my experience at both of those places and that was everything that I got. So basically I'll be posting two times a week. I'm not sure which of the days that I will be posting, but I'll probably keep it at Monday and then choose another day. It might be the same day continuously or it might like change throughout the weeks, but I will post two times a week every week throughout December. Anyway, see y'all next week. Bye!